Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about self-love. So I'm not going to be doing any more rambling. If you want to know what is my definition of self-love, do keep on watching. Remember, if you like this video, to give me a thumbs up and comment down below on any tips and tricks that you have on self-love and probably your definition of self-love. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified every single time that I upload a video. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. which is regards for one's well-being and happiness so to me i think that self-love comes both physically and mentally to me self-love is looking at myself in the mirror and loving the person that i see in the mirror all that extra like fat all these little imperfections is about loving that going beyond that point because nobody is perfect only god is perfect we are all made perfectly imperfect and that is what makes us special you know like my shirt says born to be authentic we all are born to be different nobody wants to be a copy of somebody you know we all want to be different we want to have our own style etc so that is what I think that the physical aspect of self-love is. Mentally deals with up here. If up here is not functioning correctly, what is going to happen? We are going to make bad decisions. We might treat people bad. You know, if you are not content with what is going on up here, it might cause depression, anxiety, right? And let me just pause for a moment. Anybody that you know that is going through you know like depression and anxiety speak to them or for you for example find somebody that you can trust to confide in you know seek God and if that is not even the case seek professional help because I am NOT by no means I am just telling you guys this over of my knowledge but I think with depression and anxiety I've been there I've done that and the deeper that you fall into that hole is the more difficult it is to come out of that hole right so if you know anybody with that or if you're suffering with that seek help find somebody that you can trust in right so up here what is going on up here and that is why it is also important to have respect for one another and I think self-love is also having respect for yourself because if you don't have respect for yourself, oh, trust me, you ain't going to have no respect for nobody, right? You need to be good to people. You need to be kind to people because nobody knows when you're all dressed up and looking nice. Nobody have a clue what is going on up here and how people treat you can determine how you go along with your situation, right? So that is just a little extra tip, you know, we need to be nice to people, we need to be forgiving, and we need to be kind to one another, right? So now I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks into increasing your self-love if you haven't already. So I'll probably list them in some categories. So first up, we have quality time. What does quality time mean? You know, doing something by yourself. And then quality time doesn't necessarily mean doing it by yourself yeah you know spend time with your loved ones take off the TV read a book or put on the TV and look at some movie look at a sunset personally I love looking at beaches you know I think it calms me um, do something that you love get a new hobby or something like that physically right you want to exercise you want to stretch Start a skincare routine. Be consistent with this skincare routine. Enjoy a cup of tea. 
personally, I love coffee. I don't drink tea. And I cannot drink coffee and eat my breakfast. I need to eat my breakfast first and then sip on that coffee and enjoy every moment of it. Tea, water, I mean, who likes water anyways, right? But you know where I'm coming from. You don't nourish your body with good goodness. You know, all the junk food we, we like to eat. Take care of our body inside as well. Mentally, words of affirmation. I am beautiful. You need to remind yourself of that. Listen to me. If you guys don't believe that about yourself, if you don't have respect for yourself, you're not going to have that for anybody else. Create a jar and put affirmations in it and every single day take out one. You know, for me, the first thing I do is look at my phone when I get up. Put a nice, you know, words of affirmation as your wallpaper or as your screensaver. Check out Pinterest. It has so, so, so many. Compliment yourself. Look at yourself and say, I am beautiful. Tell yourself that every single day until you start to believe that. Because confidence is key. And it's also going to boost your confidence. You know, make a, a list of the things that you're grateful for. Gratitude. And then you will see how fortunate you are. And you'll be thankful for those things in your life. Some extra tips. Detox from social media. We all know that social media could be so, so, so damaging to our mental health. I think that causes depression as well. Sit back, relax. Take time. Take time to actually see what is going on in front of you. Right? Have friends that are good to you, genuine friends. Now, there are a whole lot of type of friends, eh? There are friends that are sweet to you. There are jealous friends. There are friends that are bring you. Their friends that is carrier and don't bring you back. Their friends is just be your friends just for your business so that they would just know how to get further than you in life. Have genuine friends. Friends who could compliment you. Friends that could actually go to the gym with you. Friends that could hold you accountable. You know, friends that could just be there for you. Friends that love you. Genuine friends. Because it will help. And you don't need five friends. One friend is enough. Self-love is important. And if you don't have self-love, it could be distracting. You know, you need to stand up and you need to take action. Look, gaining weight is, I think it's normal. But being overweight is not normal. Get up and go to the gym. You know what I used to do? I used to literally get up, put on my gym clothes. Because I reach early at work. And go into gym so even when I reach to work and I'm not getting the zeal to go to the gym I still have to go because I already have all my gym clothes why waste it and then when you finish gym it's like the best feeling in the world am I right take those little steps I'm getting fat but you're eating all these kind of junk food I'm getting fat let me eat some ice cream because the place is so hot. No, go and shower and cool down. Simple as that. I'm breaking out. Be consistent with your skincare routine. Drink water. Stop eating all those junk. Guys, we have flaws. Some are permanent and then some we got upon ourselves. And we can't change it. Take that step. Take that step today. You need to have action because it could be destructing. It could be destructing. You know, and it's not nice to be down in that hole, down and about about yourself. It's not nice. That brings us to the end of this video. Guys, I'm not a professional in no way, but I am all about empowering each and every one of you. You know, so. If you guys have any tips and tricks that I haven't mentioned, please share them down below. Because like I said, a perfect a person could be looking perfectly fine 
and they are not. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Keep good, be safe, God bless. Bye.